So in this video, I look at the Press Reader app. This is uh, another one of the main reasons why I bought the Onyx Books Max 2 as opposed to the using my iPad for this. So you can see I have both uh, apps open. If you, if you don't know the Press Reader app, it's basically if you like to read newspapers or keep updated with the news, uh, they have newspapers and magazines primarily. Um, and anyway, this is the experience on the iPad. I must say, I mean, it's nice to have color, obviously, and it's quite fast to load. Um, but at the same time, the whole reason for, as we know, e-ink screen is to save your eyes. So uh, there are definitely times when, you know, this would be okay, but, if you know, there are times, at least for me, when my eyes just tell me, uh, I can no longer look at this or, you know, I can't look at my my screen, uh, computer screen, and I, so I need to have this. Um, so you can see that uh, the Onyx Books Max 2 scrolls nicely. Um, everybody has always pointed out the ghosting and the refresh and all that. I don't have a problem with that at all. I hardly recognize it. And it's not a big deal. If you're an e-ink fan, then you're just familiar with that. I have the Yoda Phone 2, which uh, actually got damaged when I was in the Philippines. I'm looking at the Yoda Phone 3 now. Uh, or I might just get another Yoda Phone 2. I'm not sure. Anyway, so you go to your publications here. And uh, I've already downloaded uh, this paper. Let me see here. I've got the... Oh, sorry. Downloaded. Okay, and then over here I need downloaded. And I've got the uh, Washington Post, so that one there, and then this one here. There, so yeah, you can see it takes a little bit of time to, to load that. Um, so, and actually this one didn't open, it's, okay, there we go. So you can see the difference. Um, one of the things that I haven't figured out yet how to do on the Onyx Books Max 2 is to screen capture because sometimes I'll be reading uh, an article and I want to capture it and I haven't figured out how to do that yet on this. Obviously on the iPad you just do screen capture and it saves it. So it's quite fast. I mean if you look and see it's about the same speed, just uh, with a little bit of the ghosting and refresh for the Onyx Books Max 2. And I mean, look how much larger the Onyx Books Max 2 is. It's, it's, a, it's just more like reading a newspaper, obviously, right? And if you want to, you can pinch and zoom on both. And you can see uh, that it works well on both. So it's just it just depends on your reading style and what you want. I mean, obviously, here you have the color, here you do not. But here, uh, in order to see the bottom, I have to scroll down like that. But here, it's already there. You know, I don't, I can't really scroll down. I can only scroll to the right. So if you are looking to read newspapers and magazines, then you know, and not hurt your eyes, then the Onyx Books Max Two could be an option for you. I just have to figure out, can I, can I draw on this, can I highlight, or can I screen capture? Um, I haven't figured that out yet, so I'm still, this is, I've only had this for two weeks and I'm only just starting to use it now uh, quite a bit more, you know, with more regularity. Okay, so that's the Press Reader 2 app.